What's going on guys and welcome to episode 23 of PGR3 Platinum playthrough and we have reached the final championship of the game the Nürburgring Endurance Cup and we only have one event to do to finish the game off so as I said in the previous episode it's a bit of an anti-climax but we have three laps of the full F1 circuit to do in an eliminator event so We've bought a lot of A-class cars, and still we're on 6.2 million, so no short shortage of money there. So the question is, what have we got to uh, to buy? So we haven't used the DBR9, but um, it's pretty lackluster in the group. The Lotus Elise GT1 isn't a bad car at all. Again, pretty average. The Merchelago RGT is quite average in the group. The R390 GT1 is a bit lackluster. We've used the Panos. The 288 GTO Evo is pretty good. And we do have the Koenigsegg CCR that I haven't used yet. And to be honest, that's probably not the best track for it, but I might just use it anyway. Very cheap, actually, 470,000. For what I think might be the most powerful car here. 806 bhp it is. Got the most power here. Um, does weigh a little bit more than some others. And it's more geared towards top speed, but why not? We'll use it. And I think we have got to go with it in orange there. Proper Conning's Egg orange. And we've nearly filled this gar uh, the garage up. We've got the six A-class cars down the bottom here that we have used. So I'll pop this one here, which means we've only got one space to to uh, fill before we unlock the next garage so let's have a walk around and this garage is starting to look a little bit ridiculous with the cars in in here right now a lot of money and we've got the two Collins legs next to each other which I didn't even intend to do got the baby brother and the big brother here so CCR for platinum final event 500,000 credits now the F50 GT must be in this, surely. And it's actually not. We've got the um, the McLaren, the Mercedes, and the panels. And you can see straight off the start how slow this thing is off the line. Oh god, I've just clipped the barrier, or the curb should I say, and completely gone off course there. But this is where this thing will shine, on the straights, but unfortunately they already got a bit of a head start on me there. And I keep going off the track, and I think I'm going to be eliminated on the first go. Which is a bit of an anti-climax again, unless I can somehow bring it back, but I keep going off the track. Why do I keep going off the track? I'm going to blame the fact that we're actually going around this in reverse. Right, come on. Come on, strippers. Actually, keep the car on the track. And again, he goes off the curb, but I managed to get a good corner in there. So let's bonk the CLK out of the way. Our panels is completely disappearing. I could hear the whine of this. I think it's the supercharger in that CLK. Man, this is literally one of the worst laps I've ever done. Right, we have to drive well now to try and catch this panels up. Somehow recovered after that absolutely abysmal lap. But well, that thing is flying. It's really hard doing that backwards. Messing with my mind. But now we're on the straight. Reeling his panels in. And he's just braked and then shut me off. Here we go. Right. Getting a bit more used to this car now. It turns in a little bit sooner than that GT1. Which I just used before this episode. How can I go from a lap of completely going off the track at every turn 
the driving pretty well on the second lap. Don't ask me. I blame the chopping and changing of cars every episode. But at least I've used a variety of cars in this playthrough. I'm quite happy with that. I wasn't sure if the... Um, that wasn't a good corner at all. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough credits for using all the A-Class cars, because I know 7 was a quite a large amount to use, but we've actually ended up with 6 million left over, so... I mean, it ended pretty well. Quite happy with that. But, um... I don't need to change down to third there, and I keep doing that. So what I think I might do is, I don't think we're going to get the kudos needed to rank up to the um, to the top rank. We'll have a look after this though, but I think it was 11,000 I needed. So what I might do is do an another event in this episode, but I won't show you the event, I'll just skip it to the end. And we'll see which event that will be. Maybe just a quick cone challenge. A small cone challenge. We're getting some distance now on the, uh, the panels. It's actually not too bad on this track. I remember on my fastest car series, I think it did get top four. I don't know exactly where it finished, or maybe it was fifth. It might be fifth. It might be behind the, the Claren F1, which was fourth. Which, you know, is pretty respectable still. There we go. Finally got to grips with it. I apologise for the first lap. That must have been awful to watch. But there we go. The last event done. Platinum is done on PGR3. And it was a hell of a lot less stressful than my playthrough on PGR2. And I'm glad I didn't do a Let's Play of the main campaign or the Kudos World series on that because I dread to think how long that would have taken. But we got um, nearly 6,000 Kudos, so I think that's another 5,000 needed for the top rank. But we'll jump back to the menu for the last time. And there is the final championship complete. 2 million credits this time. Blimey. That is uh, ridiculous. And that means that we've got some badges. All steel medals. All bronze medals. So these are all the ones that will stack. Of course, we know what's coming next. Gold and then platinum. There we go. Are there any others? Maybe some speed-based events. Yeah. Race events, sorry. Race King badge. So, that is that. And it doesn't really have anything other than that for an ending, which is quite strange for a game. You, you know, you think it would give you a little bit um, more, I don't know, congratulations. It just gives you a badge and it says, there you go, you've done it. Well done. But um, that's all the trophies done. And we're so close to rank one to unlock that last car. 5,600 kudos. So, what I'm quickly going to do is just have a look at the trophies. So, you can see them all there, all platinum. And it gives you an exact time and date that you've done it. So, finished 17th of the 9th. And started the 19th of the 7th. So, just about two months that took, I think. Recording-wise, anyway. And then we've got um, Racecraft. So we've got most of these, actually, to be honest. Oh, we've managed to... Uh, so we've got the four power sliding ones. And we've managed to get the top one, which is unending power slider. Which must have happened during a cone challenge or a drift challenge or something. Then we've got the combos, which is times three, times five, times ten. Which is fairly easy to do. That's just get a ten times combo in... Um, in a kudos challenge drift event whatever it is you're doing and we've got three back-to-back -back, five and ten back-to-back -back wins no penalties which is completely clean race ten races in a row with no penalties which i was never going to get now these three are really difficult 
big air, two seconds plus, so that's going to have to be done on Tokyo, I think, just flying at one of those um, ramp sections. And these two are very difficult. Compl uh, perform every type of slide in a race to achieve that. And there's loads of different slides. I don't even know what they all are. And then there's all kudos maneuvers in the game, which includes like a 360 overtake draft in one one event. So that's going to be pretty ridiculous to do. And if we skip over to career, we've got um, first medal, first platinum medal, first trophy, platinum trophy. We've seen all these. Steel medal, bronze medal, silver medal, gold medal, or platinum medal. So that's all those. Pro race, so we've seen these before. Then we've got Time King, Style King, Race King, which are the three um, types of championships that you've completed. So all race events, all time events, and all uh, style events. Then we've got Own a Car from each group. So that's E, D, C, B, and A. Haven't got this one, but I'm going to do this in the bonus episode or finale episode, whatever it is. Own all the cars, which is buying every car in the game, and you receive a badge. And then that one we've done, which is complete a championship and manual and then obviously we haven't got any of the online ones. So we've actually only got five badges left to go. So that's not too bad. You don't get anything for them, but they're just little accolades in the game. And what I'm going to do quickly is just do this race again and then see how many kudos we get and hopefully go to the top rank to show you that last car. So I'll skip, skip uh, this event, guys, and I'm just going to do it in the F50 just to quickly blast through it so i do get 500,000 credits for this event again each time i do it so what i'm going to do is calculate how many or how much uh, credits i need for buying every car in the game and then i will be back in the next episode to show you guys that but for now i'm just going to quickly do this event to get to the top rank right guys i just finished that race again and we got 9,000 kudos because I did a bit of sliding as well in the uh, the F50 and for once we can see a comparison of uh, the high scores because it's the second time I've done an event. So hopefully now we should be able to see the final car. And there it is guys, we have got to the final rank, rank 1 and we've unlocked the RUF supercar concept which I believe is called the R50, is the actual model name for it but um, yeah this car is pretty good in the group, not the best you think it would be uh, being the last car to unlock uh, so far through the game, but actually, it's probably it's probably top five good, top five maybe top six overall. So definitely worth using. But at this point, you've probably completed the game on one of the higher difficulties anyway. But there you go, top rank. So that's the last thing to showcase really, apart from what I'm going to do next episode. So at the top, we can see it says rank one. Uh, 479,000 kudos, 23 trophies earned, and then congratulations in capitals with some exclamation marks. So that's all you get really. Nothing extra, just the uh, just the RUF there. So in the next episode, or the bonus episode, I'll be buying all the cars, guys. So I will see you in that one.